Bruce Atwater, the host of the Hazel Heroes program. And prior to starting our December show, I thought I'd just reflect on some of the things that have um, happened over the past four years that we've been on, um, on television with the Hazel's Heroes program. Remember, Hazel's Heroes is a program that's jointly sponsored by the Hazel Park Schools and the Hazel Park Lions Club to recognize students who are helpful, who are honest or kind, who show courage, who show leadership within their school, or show outstanding behavior or performance within the classroom. Today, of our eight elementary schools, we have heroes from seven of them, from Clark, from Addison, from Ford, Hoover, Longfellow, Roosevelt, and United Oaks. However, because of a field trip, the students from Hoover School will not be able to be here today, but we'll find them in, in our January program. Let's see what the students have done this month. We're going to start our program today with um, three heroes from Roosevelt School. And I think, since no one volunteered to go first, I think I want to start down here with this guy, okay? Hi, what's your name? Daniel. And Dan? Demonowski. And how old are you, Dan? Ten. Ten years old. And um, you go to Roosevelt School? Yes. Who's your teacher? Mrs. Smith. And is that fifth grade? Yes. Okay, she's a fifth grade teacher. I thought she was. Um, so how do you like fifth grade? It's pretty good. Pre only pretty good? <laughs> they, they start making you work pretty hard in fifth grade, don't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what, what kind of things do you like to do in school, Dan? Math Especially and gym. Math and gym. Who's your gym teacher? Mrs. Chastain. And how often do you have gym in... in Every Friday. Every Friday? What kind of things do they do in gym nowadays? Play scooter, kickball, and... To do exercises and things like that? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, you do. Are you pretty good at exercising? No. <laughs> no, you're not. Okay. Um, tell me, uh, why are you a Hazel Hero? Because I... In the first 10 weeks of school, I had the best overall report card, and I had the neatest handwriting. The neatest handwriting. Do you take your time when you handwrite? Yeah. Are you, are you good at art, too? No. You're not good at art, but you're really good at handwriting, huh? Mm -hmm. And the best overall report card. What does that mean? You got the best grades in, in all your classes of anybody in your class, right? Mm hmm That's really good. Do you spend time studying a lot? No. You don't. School comes pretty easy? Yeah. What class do you like the best? Math. Math. Well, I guess I asked you that, didn't I? It was, it was a trick question to see if you if you remembered what you really liked the best. What kind of math things are you guys doing in, in fifth grade? Times tables. Do you know them all? Yeah. Nine times nine? Mm hmm Wow, what's nine times nine? Eighty-one. Hey, that's really good. It took me a long time to learn that when I was in school, I remember. Well, we're glad to have a a guy that works hard in school, gets his work done, and um, I think I read in, in the information that Mrs. Smith gave, too, that, that you're willing to help other people if they need it, too, right? Yep. And we appreciate that. Now we have somebody who's just starting school, right? Hi. You're in the kindergarten? Yep. Okay, and what's your name? Katie. And what's your last name, Katie? Rotowski. And um, who's your teacher? Mrs. Robo. Do you ever go to gym, Katie? Yeah. You do? And do you know who your gym teacher is? Yes, Mrs. Chastain. Mrs. Chastain. Huh? So you had the same one, right? Mm-hmm. And do you go to gym one time a week on Friday, too? Yeah. Yep. Do you go to music class? And do you go to art class? No. You don't have art, huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Katie, how do you like kindergarten? It's, it's nice. It's nice? What do you do in kindergarten? Sometimes we do math, and we do lots of work. What kind of work? Sometimes we made Christmas trees, and sometimes we made an owl. Wow. And sometimes we made a big, giant pilgrim. That's tough stuff, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, do you like kindergarten? Yeah. Did you go to preschool? Yeah. And which do you like the best now? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. 
Even though they make you work, huh? Yep. Tell me why you're a Hazel hero. Because I, because I, um, I do neat work and I, and classmates like me. That's right. You're kind mm -hmm. and, and you think of your classmates. You get your work done. Yep. That's really good. Do you have brothers and sisters? I just have one that's a sister. Are you kind to her? Yeah. All the time? That's really good. I'm glad to hear that. I hope you stay as kind and as energetic and as helpful as you are as you grow up as you are right now, because that's, that's really a, a good thing to do. Now, our last hero from Roosevelt School is, what's your name? Selena. And your last name, Selena? Coleman. Selena Coleman. I bet I know you. Um, tell me, how old are you, Selena? Nine. And um, what grade are you in? Fourth. Who's your teacher? Mr. Hall. Mr. Hall. And um, do you have a favorite class? Yeah. What's your favorite class? Is it like an art class? Oh, it doesn't have to be. Art. You like art? Oh, not, not, you have art every week? Yeah. And who's your art teacher? Miss Gibson. Okay. And she comes to your school and you have, have art class. Well, what kind of things do you do in art class? We make stuff. You bet you've been making lots of stuff for Christmas, huh? Yeah. Yeah, what kind of things have you been making recently? Um, we, um, last art time we made a, a name tag and finished up our Christmas packages we made out of paper. Oh, you made some Christmas packages yeah. out of paper. Oh, that's good. We okay. finished up on them. Good. And you liked our, have our class. Tell me, why are you a Hazel hero? Because I have the most music award points. You have the most what? Points in music. You have the most points in music? How do you get points in music? If you answer a question that's two points, oh. and then you get a music award. Okay. And, and you got the most points? I have nine. You have nine points. Wow. In my class, I have nine. And um, no one else has any more, right? No. Okay. And, and that's not even your favorite class, right? And, and I like music, too. Oh, you like music, too. Well, you must, because you're doing really well, right? Yeah. Okay. We're glad to have these Hazel heroes from Roosevelt School. Looks like a fine group of, of students. Thanks. United Oaks also sent three heroes. I think I'm going to start right here with this hero. Hi. Hi. I picked you out, didn't I? You thought David was going to be first, right? Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Joseph Lomofsky. And um, Josie, how old are you? Eleven. And um, what grade? Six. Who's your teacher? Miss Gardato. And she's brand new this year, isn't she? Yeah. She took Mrs. Gibson's place, right, when mm -hmm. Mrs. Gibson went to another job. Um, how do you like sixth grade? It's okay. Only okay, huh? What do you think about going to junior high? I don't know. Are you ready? No. You're not ready, huh? Okay. Um, do you have a favorite class in school? Music. Music. And who's your music teacher? Mr. Miller. Oh, he does lots of clapping games and stuff like that, doesn't he? I've seen him do lots of stuff in music. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you guys put on some performances, too, don't you? The choir does. Oh, are you in choir? No. No, you're not. I tutor. Pardon me? I tutor instead. And what does tutor mean? Help first and second and third graders with their work. Oh, do you? How many days do you do that? One day a week. One day a week? Mm -hmm. And how many kids do you work with at one time? Just whoever needs help. Okay, and you go down and, and help them with their math or their reading or something like that? Yeah. Oh, that's neat, isn't it? Do you like doing that? It's fun. It's fun, yeah. And you learn lots of things about how little kids respond, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of fun. I understand you're a, a service squad person? Yeah. What do service squad people do? They clean the boards and they run off dittos and do other tasks. Who's, who are you a service squad for? Mr. Sparbeck. Okay. And he's the one who recommended you to be Hazel Hero, right? Yeah. Because you're a willing worker, mm -hmm. dependable, reliable, mm -hmm. and do all the things that, that he asked you to do. Yeah. And I guess he doesn't have to remind you of all the things you have to do, right? Right. Yeah, that's really good. That's a really good trait. We're glad to have people like you. Mr. Sparbeck is really glad to have people like you. And I bet you those second graders are, are, are happy to have you come down and help them with their reading. Hi. 
Huh? You're second, right? Not first? Yeah. You like that, right? No. No, you wanted to be first? No. Oh, you wanted to be third, right? Yeah. What's your name? David Shrove. David what? Shrove. And how old are you, David? Eight. Eight? In what grade? Second. Oh, who's your teacher? Miss Clinder. Miss Clinder. Um, does this young lady ever come in your class and give people a hand? Yeah. yeah. She does. Has she ever helped you? No. How do you like some of those kids coming down and giving you a hand with some of your work? Do you like that? No. You don't? You like to do it yourself? Yeah. Okay. And do you have a, a class that you like best of all? Jim. Jim. And who's your gym teacher? Mr. Aline House. Mr. Aline House, okay. What kind of things do you do in gym that makes it so much fun? We run, we mm. play garden pad. Uh-huh. So you play some, some games to keep you running around and get your energy going, right? Yeah. Okay. Why are you a Hazel Hero? I'm a good worker and I help people. What do you help them do? Math. Otherwise, you're good in math? Yeah. And when some of, the, some of your friends in your class have a problem with math, you're able to give them a little hand? Yeah. And so you're like a teacher. You're almost like a, a tutor sometimes, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, you, you are. We're glad to have a person like you who's willing to help us out and um, help other students who need to have a helping hand from time to time. We have a person sitting over here. Are you from United Oaks School? Yeah. Oh, you are. How long have you gone to United Oaks? Well, that's a trick question, huh? <laughs> Ever since you've been in school? Yeah. Okay. And what grade are you in? Second. Second grade. So let's see, you've been in, you've been in kindergarten? Mm -hmm. First grade? Mm -hmm. And second grade, right? Mm -hmm. Did you go to preschool? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've been to school four years. This is your fourth year already, right? Or is it three years? I guess it's three. No, it is four. Because you got kindergarten, right? Do you like school? Yeah. What do you like best about school? Music. Music? Who's And, and you go to Mr. Miller also? Yeah. What kind of things does Mr. Miller do with second graders in, in music? Well... Sometimes we march, uh -huh. and we do rhythm claps. Oh, yeah, I know that. You have to march in time to music. And yeah. does he play the piano? Yeah. Oh, he does. And when you when you march, he plays the piano when you march around the room? No. Oh, he doesn't? He has, he uses his record player. Oh, so he plays the band music, and you can march real well, huh? Maybe you'll be in a band someday, huh? Marching band? Would you like that? Yeah. You would. Okay. Tell me, why are you here for here? Because I do my work and I'm in my school and I'm helpful. That's true. That's what I read and that's what I remember. I also remember that it says that that you you try your your best all the time. You always give a hundred percent effort, right? Huh? Yeah. All the time. And you know, that's, that's important because learning is never very easy, is it? Learning is hard sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. And I always found that sometimes it was hard. And if I just kept trying and trying and trying, it all works out sometimes. And that's what your teacher reports. Who is your teacher? Miss Clender. Okay, and she, she wrote on there that, that you always give effort 100% of the time. And that's good. We want everybody, if we could get everybody to do that, we'd have really good students, wouldn't we? Yeah, because you have to try and work as hard as you can. Thanks, United Oak Hazel Heroes. We also have three heroes from Edison School. As I, as I said earlier today, um, three must be the, um, the magic number because um, every school sent three heroes. Do you know that? Huh? Yes. And you wanted to be first. You asked me if you could be first, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. She didn't want to be first, but I told her I'd give her $100 if you'd be first, right? And then I, then I said I couldn't do that. Right? Okay, what's your name? Kathy. Kathy. And what's your last name, Kathy? Kellogg. Kathy Kellogg. How old is Kathy Kellogg? Eight. Eight years old. 
And what grade does that make you in? Third. Third grade? And who's your teacher? Mr. Lupinick. And this is his second year being at Edison School, isn't that right? Second? Yeah. I'm in third grade. I know, but Mr. Lupinick has been there two years now, yes. right? He was brand new last year, right? And um, how do you like second grade? Mm, it's third. Third grade, okay. Yeah. How do you like third grade, then? Um, I like it. Do you? Mm-hmm. What, what do you like best about third grade? Well, we do, um, like, we do projects. Mm-hmm. What kind of projects? Well, um, just yesterday we did the, um, um, what was the name of it? Um, I think it was, um, I forgot. Okay, well, tell me what the pro what, what you had to do to make the project. Well, um, <coughs> we had to color in the, um, little things, and we had to guess what they were. Oh, I see. So, he uses different ways to help you learn things, right? Kind of fun ways, and then while you're having a good time doing some coloring and things like that, you can learn while you're doing it, right? Yes. And that's a good way of learning, isn't it? I like learning that way, that's for sure. Um, why are you Hazel Hero, Kathy? Um, because I just had a good month last month, because I got lots of good grades and grades. Have you been working real hard this month to have good grades? Last month I had great grades. You did? And you wanted to do it two months in a row? And you've been working real hard. Uh, does it have anything to do with Christmas being around the corner? Mm. You want to be extra special good? Or is it just that, that you've decided that you want to work real hard in school? Yes. Oh, wow, that's really good. Because you're getting older now, right? In third grade? Yes. Next year, fourth grade? Mm. And pretty soon junior high, right? Four, five, and six? Are you excited about school? Yes. Yeah, you do. You like it? Mm-hmm. That's really good. Who was your second grade teacher? Um, Miss Dwecky. She was brand new last year. Oh, she was. That's right. And um, you like second grade? Yes. But third grade better, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I had a split class last year. Well, what does a split class mean? Um, like half of it third grade and half second. Oh, so you, you were kind of in third grade, too, last year. You saw some of the things that happened at third grade mm -hmm. when you were there, yeah. And sometimes that's real helpful to have students um, get exposed to some things a little earlier than, um, than what they would usually do with split classes. Hi. Hi. Oh, what's your name? Emily. Emily? What's your last name, Emily? Parks. Parks. And how old is Emily? Six. Six years old. How do you like school, Emily? It's good. Good? What grade are you in? First. The first grade. And who's your teacher? Miss Mako. What kind of things do you guys do in first grade? We make stuff. Make stuff? Do you read? Yeah. And do you do math? Yeah. And do you go to gym class? Yeah. Wow, you do lots of things. What kind of things are you making in school? Mm, sometimes we make chains. Chains? Because it tells us every day we take one off and then the last one will be Christmas. Oh, that helps you keep track of how many days it is before Christmas. And you're kind of excited about Christmas? Are you? Yeah. Well, that sounds like a good idea to me. Why are you a Hazel Hero? Because I got all my work done. All the time? How do you manage to do that? Because I work and I take my time and I get all my work done. You just make yourself do mm -hmm. it, right? You know, making yourself do things is really an important thing, and I'm so happy that you learned that when you are real young, because um, lots of people can't do that when they're old. Do you know that? No. Yeah, making yourself behave when somebody isn't there watching you is one of the hardest things to do in the whole world. And you've learned it at six years old. Mm-hmm. That's super. We're glad to have people like you in our school district. That's for sure. I hope you make lots of neat things and, and keep track of when Christmas is coming, right? Are you ready for Christmas? Yeah. Got all your shopping done? Mm-hmm. You do? Yeah. Already? Mm -hmm. How come you're so early? I just wanted to get it done early. Yeah, I understand. I wish I were as good as you. What's your name? Craig. And your last name, Craig? Robertson. 
And how old are you, Craig? I'll be 12 in January. So what grade does it make you? Sixth. Oh, you're one of the big shots over at the school, right? Yeah. And um, who's your teacher? Who's sixth grade teacher? Mrs. Omelette. Okay. And um, you're in the safety patrol, right? Yeah. Safety patrol is a pretty big responsibility, isn't it? Yes. What, where's your corner? Um, the corner of Kenwood and Shovelin. Okay, that's right in front of the school? Almost in front? Oh, almost in front of the All school, right, just down a corner. Bit. Yeah. And you have lots of kids that come from that, that whole, all that one side of Shevlin that come by your post, right? Yeah. And um, Shevlin's a pretty busy street. Yeah, really busy. You must be a pretty responsible kind of person to have that kind of post, right? Yeah. Who's in charge of um, safety patrol at your school? Mr. Wade. Mr. Wade? Yeah. What happens if, if you have difficulty with kids while you're on safety patrol? We, if it's really important, like to do something really wrong, then we take them down to Mr. Wade. Mm -hmm. Just for a couple minutes and let Mr. Wade talk to them. I see. Have you had to do that with anybody this year? Just a couple of people. Okay. Yeah, most of the time they... They listen to the safeties most of the time. Yeah, that's really good. You did something really extra special um, as a Hazel Hero, didn't you? Yeah. Um, why don't you tell us what happened? Okay, what happened was a, a person's mail was just flying through the air because the wind was blowing it across the ground, and I picked it up, and I looked at the address, and I gave it to him. Okay. And it was a check, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it was a check. <laughs> oh, boy. If I were that person, would I be happy to see you at the door, you know that? Yeah. And um, did you take it right to the door? Um, I waited till it was time for me to leave my post, and mm -hmm. I gave it to him. He oh. was just getting ready to leave, and I handed it to him. He said that's what I was looking for. He, oh, he must have been looking for his check. Oh, wow. Made him real happy, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice thing to do, that really is, because it would be just as easy to step on it or push it away or something yeah. like that, right? Yeah, or just and let it blow away or something. Yeah, and um, that that's that's outstanding. If, if that, as we talked earlier in the program about outstanding behavior or performance, that, that certainly indicates that, that you're a responsible person. We appreciate people like you. That's a really good job. Appreciate people like both of you, too. You guys are good. Thanks for being Hazel's Heroes. Oh, thank you. All right, we have heroes um, here from Ford and from Longfellow, two from Ford and um, one from Longfellow School. And I think I'm going to start with this guy right here. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Scott. Scott. And your last name, Scott? Graham. How old are you, Scott? Eight. Eight years old? How do you like school? It's good. It's good? What do you like best about school? Gym. It's gym. Yeah, when you, when you walked in here, he had his feet swinging and sitting in the chair, and, it, and you know, when I read what it said, it says, bright and energetic, and I could tell by looking at this guy's eyes that, that he um, is bright and energetic, right? Right. Okay. What, who's your gym teacher? Mr. Masserang. Yeah, what kind of things do you do in gym? Play tag, and we jump rope, and do exercises. Oh, is that right? Yes. What kind of exercises do you do? Push-ups? Yeah. Sit-ups? Jumping jacks. Jumping jacks. Boy, they're, they're kind of hard to do, aren't they? I can never get my legs and my hands going in the right direction. You have a problem with that? No. No, you don't. Okay. You were on the wrestling team, I heard? Yes. And, um, gosh, you're only how old? Eight. Eight. And you were on the wrestling team last year when you were seven? Yeah. And where was this? Hoover. And, um... Can you wrestle pretty good? Yeah. And you won a trophy, I hear. Yes. What, what did you win a trophy for? Most improved. Most improved. That means they have to work on it a lot, right? Yes. Oh, that's really good. Why are you a Hazel Hero? Because I always get my work done, and I help the second graders, and I'm good in gym. So that makes you a Hazel Hero, right? What right. do you help second graders do? Math and spelling. And reading. Do you go to their class, or are they in your class? They're in my class. Okay, so you're in one of those split classes. Yes. And and your teacher can have you kind of help take care of that, right? Right. Hey, you keep up the good work and keep working on that wrestling. You know, Hazel Park is famous for wrestling. Did you know that? I mean, they're famous. Did you know that? No. Are, are, are you a wrestler? No. You're not a wrestler? Oh. How old are you? Nine. Nine years old, and what's your name? Don. Don. Where do you go to school? Ford. Who's your teacher? 
Miss Shields. Miss Shields. What kind of things do you do in your class? Math, reading, spelling, phonics. What are phonics? It's it's where um it has like sentences and you gotta fill in um the missing word. Yeah, you have to know what it starts with and things like that. Mm -hmm. It helps you figure out words that you don't know, right? Yeah. Can you figure out words that you don't know? No. Sometimes, right? Yeah. Yeah, that, and that's what phonics is supposed to help us do, even though it's really hard for, for a lot of us to, to do. It helps out later on when we get into words that, that we have no idea what they are, right? Yeah. Do you have a favorite class? Or do you like them all? I like music. Music? And who's your music teacher? Miss Dickensheets. Can you tell me what you do in Miss Dickensheets' class? We sing songs. Mm hmm It's a good thing to do in music, right? Yeah. Um, do you march? Yeah. You do? And do you clap the rhythms and things like that? Yeah. Yeah, it's really important, isn't it? Getting your, your, your feet and your hands going in the same direction. Yep. Why are you a Hazel Hero? Because I help in the kitchen and I always get my work done. How can you help in the kitchen? <sighs> um, they asked you to work in the kitchen? Miss Brown comes down and um, she asks Miss Shields if, if she can have um, some of the kids in um, our class to help in the kitchen, like stamp pans. Mm hmm Sell chocolate milk and... Mm -hmm. What do you like to do best? When working stamp with? hands. You like to be a hand stamper, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, I bet you're probably one of the best hand stampers around. I can just believe that. We appreciate your help in the kitchen. Sure does help to get the food out and get everybody serviced real quick if we have um, more than just one set of hands, right? And I know Mrs. Brown really appreciates that. Hi. Hi. Do you work in the kitchen? No. Do you work in the kitchen at home? Yes. What do you do in the kitchen at home? Wash dishes. Wash dishes. Do you like doing that? No. <laughs> you don't? Ah, how many nights do you have to wash dishes? Almost every night. Almost every night. You got a lot of people in your family? No. So you don't have many dishes, right? Yes. Doesn't it seem like every time you have to do the dishes, there's always more? When I have to do the dishes at my house, it seems like my wife always burns something and it's stuck in the bottom of the pan or like she's used every dish in the house you know that happened i think i think she does it on purpose sometimes do you think that happens to you yes sometimes i'll visit you i know what happens to me what's your name stephanie and your last name Steph. sharp and um, where do you go to school longfellow right right all right and who's your teacher mr hill and um have you been camping yet? No. Mr. Hill goes camping though, doesn't he? Yes. And you're going camping in the um, in the spring probably, huh? In May. In May. <clears throat> Are you a camper? No. Have you never been before? No. Are you excited about maybe going? Yes. Yeah, I bet you have a good time. You know that? Why are you a Hazel Hero? I found a paycheck. You found a paycheck mm -hmm. right outside your school, right? Right. And whose paycheck was it? Miss Bowman. And she's a teacher? No, she's um she's a helper. She's a she's a one of one of the aides in your school, right? Yeah. And she dropped her paycheck and it was laying right on the sidewalk? Right. And boy, oh boy. What'd you do when you found it? Well the doors they locked the doors at three oh five, so I was gonna give it to her the next day, but some teachers were coming out and I gave it to them and they gave it to her. She had a big smile on her face? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And didn't that make you good all over when you saw a big smile on your face? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's something about doing something for somebody that makes you feel good all over. You know that? When you see somebody else smile, you're just real happy to smile with them, aren't you? Mm-hmm. We appreciate your honesty and, and getting that to them because when you lose your check, that can be bad news. Hazel's Heralds from Ford and from Longfellow School. We have Hazel's, three more Hazel Heralds, and they come from... Clark School, and um, I'm going to start here with this guy without the smile on his face. Hi. 
Hi. What's your name? Kevin Fortune. And how old are you, Kevin? Seven. Seven years old. How do you like being seven? It's good. It's good? What's best about being seven? Things are going pretty good, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, you're kind of having a good time? Mm-hmm. All right. Who's your teacher, Kevin? Miss Riley. Miss Riley? Mm-hmm. What kind of things, um, and, and what is that, first grade, second grade? Second. Second grade, okay. And um, what kind of things are you guys doing over there in second grade? Today we had no math. No math? Right. How come? Because we didn't have no math assignment. You got them all done already? No. She was just nice to you? She didn't want us to do any. No kidding. That make you happy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would make me happy too. I remember when I had to do math assignments in school. Well, copying all those problems down, getting them all the answers right. Do you have homework, Kevin? No. No homework. Get all done in school, huh? Sometimes. Oh, sometimes. When you don't get it in school, do you take it home? No. Oh, when you get it done? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. It sounds good to me. All right. Why are you a Hazel Harrell? Because I was picking up trash with no one telling me. Yeah, I, I read that, that um, they, they call you the trash attacker. Mm hmm Because um, you got some people to help you pick up trash around the play mm -hmm. yard, right? Mm -hmm. And got it all cleaned up so that it didn't look so messy. Right. Why did you do that? So we felt like it. You just thought it was a good thing to do? Mm hmm Well, that really is a nice thing to do because making your school look good Makes you look good, doesn't it? Yeah. Makes all of us look good. And we're really glad to have a guy like you with a big smile on his face. But we'd like you to get your math done, okay? Boy, oh boy, I have to talk to Mrs. Riley about not giving you a math assignment for um, today. I mean, you got off the entire day without math. Maybe I'll work up some problems for you. How would you like that? And you can get them done before you leave? Hi. Hi. And you're a safety patrol girl, right? Yes. And where's your where's your corner? At Martin Road and Orchard. Martin Road and Orchard. Okay, that's another busy street, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Lots of cars coming down there, right? <laughs> lots and lots. And um, what's your name? Marlene. And um, how old are you, Marlene? Ten. I mean, eleven. Well, are you ten or eleven? Eleven. Did you just have a birthday? In June. In June. Well, you ought to be able to remember that you're eleven now, <laughs> right? And um, who's your teacher? Mrs. O'Shea. And um, how do you get to be in the safety patrol? Oh, she, you'll, she'll, Mrs. Sochev will ask you, she'll ask who wants to be on the safety patrol, whatever post she thinks you're good for, she'll put you on that. Okay, so you, she kind of asks you if you'd like to be on the safety patrol, and then if you say um, yes, then she finds kind of a, a post that's consistent with, um, with your maturation and, and you know, your good judgment and things like that, right? Yes, yeah, she does it at the beginning of the year, though. Yeah, she wouldn't want to have you on a post if you weren't a reliable person, right? Mm hmm And I understand you're really reliable, right? I Tell the people what you did on your post, okay? There was a car cruising by, and um, he came by around 10 or 11 times, and I wrote down the description of the car, and I gave it to Mr. Barlow, and um, then after a while, Miss Osheb put me for safety of the month of October. And when the VFW people came to give me my awards, they also gave me a trophy because I was the safety of the month out of the city of Ferndale. That's right, because you, um, this person who was driving around 10 or 11 times was trying maybe to get some kids in the car, right? And you were afraid that that was happening. Mm -hmm. And by um, writing down the description of the car, and I think you got the license plate number, mm -hmm. um, then the police were able to follow up, right? Yes. And that was really good. Did anybody teach you or tell you to do that, or you just did it? Well, sometimes they have assemblies at school that say not to do, not to talk to strangers or anything, mm -hmm. but... You bet your boots, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a scary thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You did an outstanding job. You you deserve to be safety of the month. Now, we have another safety patrol person here, don't we? Yes. What's your name? Jennifer. Jennifer, and your last name? Kimball. Jennifer Kimball. That's a piano, right? Or a school. <laughs> yeah. Um, tell me, how old are you, Jennifer? Eleven. 
And who's your teacher? Miss Oshak. Okay, and um, you got to be a safety patrol, the same person? Yeah. Same way? Okay. Um, where's your post? Chestnut in Martin Road. Chestnut, okay, and that's, that's another busy corner, isn't it? Lots of cars, yes. lots of cars come through there, right? And you have lots of people that drop the kids off right in front of the school, right? Yeah. Yeah, it makes it kind of dangerous. Um, and you were also a safety of the week, was it? Month. Of the month, okay. And uh, why were you safety of the month? Because when I was supposed to go to post, I'd be there on time. I was never late. I didn't fool around on post. And when the kids would come to me with problems, I'd solve them without going to the teacher. Oh, well, what kind of problems do the kids bring Like to you? when they were fighting or something, the snowball throwing. Oh, yeah. You got a lot more of that to look forward to, right? Yes. Now, when kids get in trouble in your school, what, what do you do? You try to take care of it, right? Yes, and if I can't take care of it, my captain will. And who's the captain? Dennis. And you take it to Dennis. And what happens if Dennis can't take care of it? We'll send him to Mrs. O'Shap. Oh, and then Mrs. O'Shap takes care of it. And then if she, and if they still persist, probably go on to the big guy, right? Yeah. Mr. What's his name? Barlow. Oh, Mr. Barlow, the principal. Yeah. Have you ever gone to Mr. Barlow? No. That's really good. I'm glad. I'm going to be coming by your post and see if anybody's throwing snowballs. Well, this is a good group. Glad to have you guys from Clark School. To end our program today, we have Superintendent James Gibson and Community Education Coordinator Ann Bashinsky to give out the certificates and the um, Hazel Heroes t-shirts. Um, special program because it's for December and these guys are real anxious. You know that? Anxious for? <laughs> Is there something special in December? Some of them have their Christmas shopping all done. I want you to know. Well, good. And want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and congratulations on your award. It's pretty special to be a Hazel's Heroes uh, member. So, nice going. Our first one is Marlene Little from Clark School. Congratulations. From Clark School, uh, Jennifer Kimball. Congratulations. From Clark School, Kevin Fortune, who didn't do his math. He didn't have any math. He's got to wait for me to give him math problems. Oh, what a smile. <laughs> <laughs> From Longfellow School, uh, Stephanie Sharp. Congratulations, Stephanie. Uh, Roosevelt School, Selena Coleman. Congratulations. Uh, from Roosevelt School, Danny Demonowski. Congratulations, Dan. Uh, from Roosevelt School, uh, Katie Jaratowski. Congratulations. From United Oak School, Becky Hill. Congratulations. From United Oak School, David Schramm. Congratulations, Dave. Uh, from United Oak School, Josephine Kumalski. Is that correct? No? Did you say it for me? Kumalski. Kumalski. Congratulations. Thank you. There you go. Edison School, uh, Craig uh, Robertson. Congratulations, Craig. Thank you. From Edison School, Kathy Kellogg. Congratulations. Thank you. Emily Parks from Edison School. Congratulations. You're welcome. Dawn Harris from Ford School. It's a pretty dress. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. And Scott Graham from Ford School. Congratulations. I was just telling the, the people before we started that this is the fourth year doing Hazel's Heroes program. It's a long time. We've seen a lot of Hazel's Heroes come and go, haven't we? Sure. And we're having repeaters now, right? Didn't you tell me that, Ann? Yes, we have. I think we have two today. Two repeaters? Two repeaters from maybe two or three years ago. So these are really outstanding youngsters. Yeah. Really good group. Thank you very much for watching.